are. Now, what we are tracking in the tropics right now are two name storms that are not threatening land at all and nothing threatening the Gulf or Caribbean. This is what we like to see strong wind shear across the Gulf of Mexico and Northwestern Caribbean. Now, it doesn't mean as we get into October now that we don't see any activity. October can still be a very busy month, but looking at the total number of storms and based on their classification, we tend to see more tropical storms than really anything. Or if we are going to see a hurricane, it tends to be either a category one or two. So not really the evacuation type hurricanes uh, that we would normally see earlier in the season, August and September. Now of all of those storms that affected us in October, all category four fours formed in September. So we have already now gone past September. 30th, so we're in good shape from any major hurricanes. Well, we had that one exception. Category three Zeta was in the latter part of the month. Now the two cat twos that formed two of those formed in September. The cat ones two formed in September and two before October 15th. And as far as the tropical storms go, one formed in September and three were before October 15th. And I point out the date October 15th because from that date for the rest of the month, only four storms that developed actually affected Southeast Louisiana. Two were tropical storms and two were hurricanes. One of those hurricanes was Juan back in 1985. It was a cat one. And then of course the other on the 24th of the month was Zeta. Now Zeta kind of an anomaly because the strongest of the winds were only felt right at the coast where it made landfall and it was moving so quickly that yes, there was damage, but it wasn't as extensive as you would normally see from a category three storm.